Hi everyone, it is Marie Blue Angel and I'm back today with a new visual novel, or a demo of it rather, um, called Apricity, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, I saw this on Twitter, um, I think this is a submission for April Jam this year, so I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm just gonna dive right in, but I already love the start page and the art and the music is fun um i saw earlier because i clicked through just a second ago that you, we can change the music i'm gonna leave it on bittersweet because it seems very appropriate i am assuming um that the music will change as we go and i do not have to change that but if i have any favorites i might have to go back to one of them but okay let's get started and see what Apricity is all about. I also like the little snowflake. Okay. There was once a town. Oh, it just goes. They are spirits of the depths, roam and roam. They feed on children and steal, the, steal their souls. Where winter screams and shadows dance. I did not read all of that, but that is... That is okay. I don't know if there's the log. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> we okay. What I gathered from that was that it's there's a little bit of danger happening, so that's okay. Um, and I assume this is Chiara, our main character. I like her little sprite. Look at this. I like the colors here with the shirt and the little shawl covering. Okay. Huh. I sighed, shutting the book. I've probably read it a hundred times already. In fact, I might have read all the books on this shelf a hundred times already. Oh. The myth surrounding Lunil's town, huh? It's funny how it's so obvious that it's just a children's fairy tale, but the adults here take it so seriously. Just like my parents. Honey, I'm off to work. Stay indoors as usual, okay? Oh, it's, it's dad. Can I just go out for once? No can do. It's dangerous. But I'm 15, Dad. I'm not a kid anymore. That is, that is true. Technically, 15, you are not a kid anymore. Are you seriously locking me out because of some children's fairy tale? Darling, we've been through this again and again, and every day I tell you the same thing. It's not a fairy tale. These spirits are real, and they target defenseless children like you. I've seen one with my very own eyes, and the very sight of them. He gave an exaggerated shiver. <sighs> Dad bent down and patted my head, a gesture he does almost every time I bring up the topic of leaving the house. I hope you understand, Chiara. I'm doing this for your sake, for your own safety. Hmm. Don't worry, winter's almost over. You can go out when spring arrives. I wonder how long winter lasts here, because if it's like a 75% winter most of the year, I would be a sad person. If it's 25% of the year, which is technically what most people think, or most people have, eh, that might be okay. For me, at least, I don't know. But Chiara's 15 and is tired of staying indoors in the winter time, understandably.
but spring only lasts a few months here. Even then, you'd only let me out when the sun's up. Yeah, it's not that long. What about summer? Does summer happen? I wonder. It's for your... For my own safety, I know. Whoops, look at the time. I need to get going. Chiar, be a good girl and stay at home, okay? Your mom is in her room. Call her if... Is in her room. Call her if you need anything. Yes, dad. Did we get to see mom at all? Or does mom have any lines? Dad, st dad stood up and left the house. <sighs> he wasn't always this protective. It's only recently that dad started believing those myths. Realizing I have nothing better to do, I turned to my bookshelf and started reading books again. I wonder if you can get new books. How often can you get new books? This is boring. By the time winter ends, I'm sure I would have memorized every word in these books. Don't get me wrong, I love reading, but there are only so many books in this town. Okay, that makes sense. It's a town. And I'm pretty sure I've read almost all of them. Hmm? I quickly scrambled to the door. Rue! Hey. You didn't tell me you were coming. I got what you asked for. It's Rue. He held up a bag, smirking. Could it be... It's the fantasy novel you wanted so badly. Aww, Rue! Brought the book! No way! The final book of the Fantasia series? I've been waiting for it my entire life. <laughs> I, was, I thought she fell to the floor. <laughs> that, this makes more sense. Okay. I instantly jumped and hugged Rue with all my might. Hmm? Thank you, Rue. He's speechless. Don't mention it. It's the least I could do to ease your boredom. Look at the blush on Rue. He, he held my shoulders and gently pushed me away. You'll get dirty. Ah, sorry. He smells like blood. I let go of Rue and took the last book completing the Fantasia series at Regi Regime's End. Regime's End. I've been waiting for this book for what seemed like years, and now that it's finally in my hands, I couldn't wait to read it. Anyway, Rue is my childhood friend, as well as my father's assistant. We've known him since forever. He needs to get equipment from the house sometimes, so Dad gives him access to our house. Say, Rue, can we? No. But I didn't say anything yet. You're not going outside. Don't tell me you believe those myths, too. It's for your own safety, Chiara. But it's so unfair that you get to go out as you please, and I don't. I'm a hunter. It's my job. And I doubt your father cares enough about me if I were to disappear. Don't say that. But it's true, isn't it? I would care if you disappeared. Aw, look at that face. <laughs> I love that. I'm crying. You love friendship. Okay. I really love friendship. Um, that's so cute. Okay. Rue gave a slight smile, gently placed his hand on my head, and squeezed it with whatever strength his palms had. Ow! Good try, but being nice to me won't convince me to let you out. Ugh. Busted. I'll head to town now. Tell boss I left the deer pelts in the shed. And remember, whatever happens, don't go outside. Yeah, yeah. Rue shut the door behind him, leaving me alone in the living room. 
Sorry, Rue, but as much as I want to read the novel you brought, I'm determined to get out of the house today, just for today, I promise. Also, if she finishes the book today, knowing her, then what other entertainment is she going to have? I'm not saying it's the best idea to go out of the house, but I understand why Chiara would want to go outside. After putting the novel on my bookshelf, I checked if mom was occupied. What does mom do? Oh, mom is wheelchair bound. So she doesn't come out of her room very often. Does mom have something to do though? Like, is she reading? Is she writing? Is she just resting? I peeked inside her bedroom and found her asleep. Oh, she's asleep. Okay. She's taking her afternoon nap. This is perfect time to escape. Oh, Chiara. <laughs> she's like, this is my escape time. Mom's going to take a nap. How long does your mom take a nap for? What if she calls for you in like 15 minutes? I'm getting anxiety because Chiara's leaving. But under, again, I understand why she would leave the house. After making sure that nobody was around the house's vicinity, I crept my way outside the house, careful not to make any sound. Hmm. I didn't know it was this easy to escape the house. I crept away from my dreaded house equipment with my letter with my leather coat but it did not prepare me for the harsh winds that blew outside oh the cold would kill me i could feel the cold well under my fabric but it wasn't the time to tremble in the cold and it was too late to turn back i think technically you could turn back but that's okay i'm just following the plot following it dad's at work Rue's in town mom's asleep and today's the only day the star flakes bloom Star flakes? Is it a kind of flower? Okay, so the plan is kind of perfect because everyone is too busy. Star flake flowers. That was the only thing I thought of as I marched, acro marched across the thick layer of snow and deeper into the woods. My heart soared when I thought of it. Mom always told me stories about it when I was a child, how its petals defy gravity when it blooms for the first time and how they shine like stars as they float upwards towards the arctic sky. But they're too overprotective, and have never let me out of the house during the winter, all because of that stupid myth. Oh, no, I, wanna see I want you to see the star flakes. Truly, I, I do, I understand. Oh, I bet they're gorgeous. I squinted. At a distance, a patch of crystal-like plants swayed lightly against the breeze. <clears throat> Could they be the rumored star flakes? I ran towards it, nearly tripping over a pile of snow. The forest stretched further as I ran, and the skylight was almost completely filtered by the trees. I stopped before the patch of frost-like flowers. Bending down and inspecting the flowers closely, I realized that they might have already bloomed. Might have already bloomed. Their delicate silver petals were open and looked just like any other flower I have seen in spring. Oh man, I was looking forward to it too. Guess I came a bit too late. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, poor, not the best timing though, but that's not her fault. I got up and brushed snow from my dress. I heard that starflakes bloom for about a day and my calculations showed that it was due to bloom today, right when the sun reaches its lowest point. I shook my head. It would be unwise to stay here longer than I should have anyway. The skylight is fading. When dusk arrives, it would be difficult to find my way back. Oh my god, that's so scary. I <laughs> no, no, not the, not the growls. The low hum of growls. I turned back. Long limbs stepped into the forest light floor. <laughs> Long limbs stepped into the floors. Fl floors. Okay. Lots of fun speech errors. <clears throat> Long limbs stepped into the forest floor, lightly illuminated by the fading skylight. Curses. Kylie and wolves. Did I unintentionally step into their territory? There should have been placards that the villagers put up to mark their territory. 
I spotted one covered in, in snow a few trees behind me. Ugh. I mentally slapped myself. Perhaps I should ask Rue to get me a pair of eyeglasses next time. I mean, it's probably covered in snow. And you're very concerned about the flowers. The wolves howled, calling their other friends to join in locking the stupid prey of theirs. I stumbled, pressing my back to the bark of a tree while they closed on me, sizing me up. Get back! Perhaps if I climb this tree... Huh? Someone is there? I saw a faint flap of white fabric against the arctic wind. Close your eyes, mysterious person says. <gasps> Even with my eyes closed, I knew that someone was there, shining a light so bright it blinded the wolves and sent them reeling away. Oh my gosh. When I opened my eyes, there were no wolves in sight. Just a stranger in a white cloak. Look at the stranger in the white cloak. Also, I just realized that I said that this was a demo. This is not a demo. This is a fully a full game done for April, April Jam uh, this year. Um, I did a demo just this, the other part of this week. So that's why I was saying a demo, but this is not a demo. So there's going to be many parts to this. Um, but anyways, sorry, that was a note that just came into my mind right now. But oh my gosh, Mysterious Stranger who has saved Chiara from the wolves. And also, I really love this outfit. I just like the blues a lot, the white and blues, and the mask. It's just looking. What is this? Is this a branch coming out of, of, their, of their head? Like a, like maybe next to their temple? Okay, I like, I like the colors. I like the design. Let's move on. Hmm? Uh, who, who are you? The masked stranger started walking away. He didn't, this man, this guy, this person didn't say anything. Oh my. Wait. Hmm? He stopped and turned back. What? Why did I call out to him? I know I shouldn't be talking to strangers. The stranger remained motionless. His mask covered his eyes, so I couldn't tell where he was looking, but I was sure he was staring at me. This person gives me a strange feeling. It's as if I've met him before. But where? Say, what's your name? I don't have one. Uh, oh, is that so? so he can talk but he doesn't have a name that's strange wait a sec beware of the spirit living in the depths of winter they prey on innocent children like you uh, are you are you the fabled snow spirit i mean it's not a spirit snow spirit that's preying on innocent children so i think we're okay like, this person was going to walk away, so. Snow spirit, is that what they call me? I, I need to run. I can't believe I just talked to the evil spirits in the book. It's strange, though. I don't feel scared at all. And this person doesn't look like an evil spirit. Not that I actually know what they look like in the first place. But he did save my life. Hey, uh, thank you for saving me. You should go. It's dangerous here. <laughs> Doesn't say. And with that, he turned away and blended in with the frost. Hmm? That was a weird encounter. But I should be returning home. It would be terrible if Dad returned and found me gone. Or if Mom had woken up from her nap. Good call, good call. I agree. But I feel this taste of adventure. Chiara will go out once again. Phew, seems like dad isn't back yet. My, my, my mind wandered back to the blue-haired stranger who saved my life. Who is he? 
Is he really the snow spirit that lived deep in the for? <laughs> Is he really the snow spirit that lived deep in the forest? Or perhaps I was just being too paranoid. Maybe the spirit doesn't even exist. Maybe he's just a traveler from far away. I recalled the nursery rhyme everyone here was privy to. There was once a town steeped in snow, blah, 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 as the ghosts hunt and haunt till death. Hmm. What com but what comes after that? I'm sure there was something. Honey, I'm home. Oh, Dad, welcome home. Huh? Why do you look so worn out today? You didn't go out of the house, did you? What? No, of course not. Good. Go and call your mom for dinner. Okay. I'm so sorry for lying, Dad, but... I have to see him again. I agree, I want to see <laughs> also this this guy again. Hello, Rue. Look at that Rue face. Little sad, little sad, just smile there. Okay. I don't know what I was trying to say. It just kind of looks like what's happening. Hmm? So you're telling me that you, the human who eats books as a living, hasn't finished reading Fantasia in one night? She has a great excuse for this. She could say that it's such a big deal to her that she is saving it. Because if she finishes this, then what's going to happen, happen next? I would probably be like that. But also, I could also be the person who would devour a book in one night. Uh, well, I didn't feel too well yesterday, so I... Rue stared at me suspiciously with a pair of suspicious eyes, noticing how incredibly suspicious I was. You can't blame me. I was so tired from walking yesterday that I fell asleep immediately after dinner. But I can't tell him that or he'll kill me for sure. Oh, Chihara. Chihara. <laughs> that, that face. Your facial expression. Same. Chiara. Yes? You're not hiding something from me, are you? N no Yikes. <laughs> you sure? Y yes, I'm sure. I, I just wasn't feeling too well yesterday. I had a terrible headache and reading just somehow made it worse, so... I just slept the entire day away. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Gulp. Okay, I'll buy that. Yes! But how could you get sick and when you spend all day lounging around the house? Um, maybe it's the wind? I guess I kind of did open the window yesterday. I told you so many times not to do that. I'm sorry. Ugh, whatever. Your body, not mine. I'll be going off to work now. Take care of yourself. Will do. 